So you wrote a column about Sessions, and I gotta say, it's one of the most unfair things I think I've ever read. Okay. I mean, well, it's I almost like a pure award. download from the DNC website. Sessions is a favorite of Stormfront, the white nationalist web community founded by former Klansman Don Black. Is there any evidence that he's had contact with Stormfront, endorsed Stormfront, or are you just smearing him on the basis of their endorsement of him? Well, I, look, I'm not saying that he's like a member of Stormfront or what are you anything. Saying? I'm saying that he is a favorite of people who uh, uh, who hold bigoted views, and that's not. That, so, if uh, someone you way, don't like says something nice about you, you're tainted by that. Well, that I think if saying? you look at the history and, and the pattern of Jeff Sessions, he said things over the course of no, time. No, that you you make said something really specific. You said he was endorsed by Stormfront. Would it, but I'm sure he would disavow that immediately. So why would, why is that fair to write that? Uh, he hasn't disavowed it that I know of. Oh, so you think he agrees with Stormfront? Is that what you're doing? Do I don't know. For that? I don't know, but the point that I would make about Jeff Sessions and the larger point of the column is Americans should have a right to feel that they are going to be equally protected under the law. Uh, here's what people have a right to, is the expectation that if someone's going to throw out a charge, that it's substantiated. It's not just by implication. In this McCarthy way, you say, among other things that I'm quoting now, surely Sessions wouldn't try to resegregate the American armed forces in which he served. Really? Jonathan Allen, surely you wouldn't batter a child. What, I mean, what does that mean? Nobody well, no, suggested you're right, I wouldn't. He, no, but nobody suggested he would resegregate the armed forces. Well, Jeff Sessions has Why been opposed like to the out? Voting Rights Act in the past. Opposed? To, is that the same as resegregating the American armed forces? Well, I mean, that's a really appalling thing well, to say it's about a, you know, it's, Well, wait a second. Uh, it's not that far of a cry for some people. General. You suggested that that was even a possibility he would resegregate the U.S. armed forces, and I'm asking where. I said he from? wouldn't. Okay. Well, you wouldn't beat your wife. I but mean, however, however, you're attacking him. However, but not directly. The, the armed forces of the United States is one of the most ethnically diverse in our country, right? Right. All of those people uh, who are not white people should be able to have faith that their leader doesn't discriminate against yeah, them or is not prejudiced against them. But you're fear mongering. But by the way, you know, what else is a very diverse place is the state of Alabama, which he's represented for 20 years. It's 25 percent African American. Can you name in the 20 years he has served, 19 as senator, a single instance where he's mistreated someone on the basis of his race? Ever one? Well, senators don't typically walk around mistreating their citizens. You're calling the guy a racist. Well, senators don't typically walk around mistreating their citizens. You're calling the guy a racist. So why don't you throw some? Well, so I'll, here I'll give you an example of something that I think should worry people if they believe in the equal protection of the law. When President Obama said he was going to put 2,000 undocumented minors in President, Alabama, you mean here illegally, children. Right. Yes, here illegally, children. Okay. In the state of Alabama, Jeff Sessions' response was, "We're going to have to treat them." and feed them and let them go. Okay. So, so what, what's, I, I'm, so missing, I'm missing your point. Was the state not on the hook for feeding and clothing those he kids? He was complaining about the idea that he was going to, that the state of Alabama was going to have to feed and clothe children. Okay, but Do you okay, think, so that makes him that's racist? That's such an awful... I mean, is that, is, that's your example of his racism? Are you being serious? Uh, first of all, I don't think I called him racist. You called him racist like nine times in the column. I mean, it's... Well, no, but if we're going to use the word... And I'm asking you, what's the example of his racism? And you don't have one. Six. He's been overwhelmingly re-elected re re for 20 years. And I'm asking, of one instance where he's been racist, you don't have one. Are you saying You that, downloaded you saying some that, talking points are you from the DNC Well, first of all, I wrote, that, I wrote that column before Sessions was nominated. You clear... I mean, this is just a totally hack job are, are, here. <laughs> You asked me for instances of him doing you racist don't have things. Any, yeah. Oh well, now wait a second. You asked me for recent examples, well, and your argument is, is hardly your recent. argument is that you could serve in the in the Senate for twenty years, uh, and just because you served in the Senate for twenty years, you were elected to the Senate. You're not racist. My argument that is, is at odds with no, American no, history. My sir. argument is that before you call someone racist and suggest which that I didn't. ties to you do repeatedly and suggest that he has ties to Stormfront and might resegregate the armed forces, that you might have some facts. Uh, I have you. some facts. You don't. In you 1986, he called the NAACP un-American. Really? Because well, I think, I'm sorry. I that think, was during his hearing. He had done it previously. I think the NAACP is a totally discredited group. Does that make me a racist? I mean, let's get back to reality a little bit. You also say this. I'm, you're not alone in saying this. He is quote beyond the ideological fringe. That's true. Really? Because I actually looked up some of his views, which I'm very familiar with. Yeah. What percentage of Americans do you think? believe we need to reduce the amount of immigration into this country. I think a lot a of Americans... Oh, a majority. Did you I know think that? I think okay. a lot of Americans believe that. So... You realize that immigration from Mexico right now is actually going the other way? I realize that that has yeah, nothing just, to do with the question I asked Okay. You. Going the other way? I realize that that has yeah, nothing just, to do with the question I asked Okay. You. you said he is on the ideological fringe, okay. so why don't you, since we're on TV Live, give me an example of an opinion he has that is on 
the ideological fringe. He wants to ban same-sex marriage. That's on the ideological fringe. Is that true? The majority of U.S. states held referenda on that exact subject, and it passed. So, like, what, are you the, what world are you A majority of the American people, go look at polling. A majority of the American people, and by the way, the Supreme Court of the United States, right? He's going to uphold the laws. But at the moment when it was, la look, I'm not arguing against gay marriage. Just to be totally clear, I'm just saying to be out, to be out, or beyond, as you put it, the ideological friends, you have to have a view that is held by a tiny minority, and you have not named one. The you're carrying free. water for the Democratic Party, and I'm you're smearing this guy without, without engaging his ideas. That's I wrote all I'm about saying. this before this is, even became an issue. Well, they were going carrying after water, him. talking points. I mean, that's these ridiculous. are pure talking points because you don't back it up. I would go write a column where you say, "He says this. This is the policy that he proposes, and here's why it's wrong." And instead, it's. He's endorsed by Stormfront. He said the KKK Please. was okay until he, he found out. It. Until he found out that they smoked pot. You know, I can't. I can't. That they really, actually said you that. Really think, he acknowledged that you in a really hearing, think in a congressional hearing. That Jeff Sessions is pro KKK. Is that what you're saying? No. What I'm saying. Oh, then is, what are you saying? What I'm saying is he said that he thought they were okay. Yeah, so what he said was, I told a joke about marijuana that was a bad joke. He never said I'm for the KKK. And, well, I mean, if that's your standard. That, that's his standard. I'm, I'm asking you a really simple question. Do you think he's for the KKK or not? I don't know. Well, you don't know? I don't know. Then why are you suggesting he is? All I said is what he okay, said. Look, I'm just saying, get, look, I'm using engage his words. the guy I'm using his on words. the facts. Jonathan Allen, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Tucker. I appreciate it.